Okay, I think we're about ready to go. Go. <laughs> okay. Got that mad energy. I really don't. Really not that energetic today. I don't know why. But you know. Life. Ow. It's always so loud. Oh, and then we're still on BRB screen. Gunner, you fool! Ho ho! <laughs> How are we doing today? Oh, now you want outside. When I started stream before I started streaming, I kept like trying to get him up, trying to get Axel to go outside. So he can use the bathroom so he's not wanting to take a shit halfway through the stream. But we've literally been going for a minute. And he already wants to take a freaking shit. He's now he, now he gets up, and now he's whining at me. And he's probably gonna bark, and it's gonna scare the fuck out of me, because I'm not going to expect it. It's definitely gonna scare the fuck out of you guys in chat, anyone watching. Because it's just only gonna be like, Whoa! really loud. And I'm gonna have to go let him out, because it's freaking cold, I have to go and get him. Stay out there with him, because he's a baby. Make sure he takes his a freaking shit. And then come back in and then do all that. The life of a dog owner, I swear to God. <laughs> Never get pets. I mean, that is a joke, by the way. I love my dog. He's the best. Anyway, welcome back to more Yeez. <laughs> Got really off tangent there. But yeah, we're back with more Yeez, too. Hopefully, today will be the last session of Yeez. That's my hope, at least. We're going to explore a little bit subterranean canal canal did i just say canal canal and then uh hopefully make our way to i guess doubt dallies is the final boss i was calling him dallas last episode because i thought it was funny but i don't know maybe we'll stop doing that because if he turns out to be the final boss then i'm just calling him dallas like i don't know i don't know maybe i'll just keep calling him dallas it's kind of funny okay that's the entrance. So I want to explore a little bit. I do kind of know where we need to go. And spoiler alert, we've basically gotten all the required things in here. There's a few more things I want to... I just want to explore a little bit. I know there are some other things down here that we don't need to get. But still, I would, I don't know, like to get. That's the one thing with doing games like Yeez where it's kind of obscure on what you're actually supposed to do especially in these big areas like the shrine yeah here's the main thing i wanted to see there's a statue of a swordsman here it seems strangely out of place so that's uh the guy's son and maria's uh fiance as the cool people call it i guess i don't know Anyway, whole whole goal of today's stream is to finish Yeez 2. Damn it, <laughs> we're gonna finish it. Uh, I actually want to do a little bit of grinding though. I want to get to level 38. Uh, the guy said I'm uh, that the best level to take on this next boss is 36, but we've been struggling with some of the bosses, so I feel like that's fine. And this is like a really good spot to grind apparently, according to the guide. So. If we ever find ourselves struggling, we're going to go back down here, it seems. The downside of these guys giving me so much experience is that 
They can kill you really easily. Uh, but I think the guide said all we need to do is uh, first I'm going to return to Ramia Village. But it's in like the center area, so returning back, you know, makes sense. But we need a refill on magic, all that jazz. Yeah, so that's basically today's stream. If we get, I don't know how long it's going to take us because we started. So if we go for two hours, we'll end at nine o'clock. I think we can beat the game in less than two hours. At least this uh, final segment. I think we can pull that off. But, uh, I don't really have a backup plan if we do finish it early. Because uh, I, I don't know if I would, uh, if I would, uh, just switch to the next game I have lined up. But also, I haven't even, like, really decided what game I want to do next. Uh, I have a few in the backlog of Steam that I want to do. I've been buying a lot of Steam games recently. Uh, I actually bought a few more today because the winter sale, uh, which is very exciting. I uh, didn't buy any more Yeez, <laughs> uh, e even though I was very tempted to buy the fourth Yeez game. Which, by the way, I'm not exactly sure my computer will ha be able to handle it. Because the next one is Yeast 4. And specifically the remake of Yeast 4, which was a PlayStation Vita game. Uh, I, I I always forget like the specs of my laptop that, I, that we're using right now. I always forget like exactly what I have. Uh, but I think we might be able to handle it. But the big question for me is streaming with it so that's going to be a kind of a what if uh so if it does work on my laptop most likely what will happen is that i it we won't do another yeez game for a while after yeez 3 uh because uh it's um yeez 3 is on steam the remake of it and it was virtually like a ps2 game so my computer can handle that i'm like I haven't tested it yet, but I'm like 90% sure it can. Uh, then, yeah. But then, like, in the list of consoles I'm going to eventually buy, like, the second one, not counting, like, brand new consoles, is, uh, that may get bumped up if we can't play Ease 4 on my laptop, is, uh, uh, the PlayStation TV that lets you play Vita games on your uh, TV. But first, I need that stupid fucking capture card that I talk about every other day that I <laughs> still haven't bought. Uh, I was talking to my friend uh, the other night, and I was like, yeah, I'll eventually get around to Resident Evil, you know, once I get that uh, capture card in. And then he was like, then my other friend was like, you still don't have a capture card? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, haven't you been talking about the stupid capture card for, like, a decade? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> like, honestly. I figured I'd have one by now. But, like, it seems like life always gets in the way, man. So this is where we need to go. So now we need to fight some boss. Druga. Oh, God, it's a fucking spider. And has a double health bar again. Great. Whoa, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? So how does this boss work? Oh, like that. Oh, but we get trapped. Okay, that's... That's fun. Give me one second. You always get the weirdest itches when you're on stream. For me, I get an itch in my goddamn ear. <laughs> huh. Oh, 
Oh, I should I should have equipped the stupid eagle. The eagle talisman or whatever it's called. Okay, so for what I can tell, this boss has a ton of freaking damage. But the, uh... A lot of damage, but... Uh, it's kind of easy to hit. So if we use the... Whatever this is called, the Hawk Idol? Am I even paying? Yeah, Hawk Idol. Problem is, like, getting, like, enough room to hit it without it, like, trapping you. Seems to be the main thing, but... Like, its main attacks don't seem that hard to dodge. It's just these stupid freaking eggs that seem to be the big problem. See, there we go. We get trapped. All right. So we just need to figure out a way to not get trapped. Also, I need to save so I'm not constantly re-equipping that. Drugar. Is that how you say that? Oops! <laughs> and it was like, nope! It's weird that the... It's like the Hawk Idol's, uh... Kind of making this boss harder. Because for some reason, it's like... It's going to, like, the... It's not going to, like, the main body. It's going to the, uh... The legs. We'll try this without the hawk idol. Let's see how it goes. Those like blue spark things, they do a lot. They hurt a lot, boys. Shit. Wish I again with the hawk idol. It gives me confidence that I don't have. Yeah, it's like going for like the little Oh, so I guess we can only hit it in, like, the front? Like, we can't go... We can't just hit it from whenever, whenever. What's the hawk boy? It's probably just a battle. You gotta just take it slow. Also, the spider can break the eggs, which is really nice. I actually really like that. Good game design! Hooray! <laughs> Points to ease! Although I think the Hawk Idol is like walking onto the eggs is not ideal. Did the spider not break those ones? What the fuck? Okay, we're taking little hits here. That was close. Shit. Where we got? We got it down to about half health. That's not bad. That could have gone better. Yeah, this could be going a lot better. This is not a good attempt. I do like the animation on the spider, though. Like on the legs. Like it's like surprisingly fluid. I really hope this doesn't end up like a. Uh, 
Because we've had like two like spidery bosses so far. And one of them, we fought it for like an hour. Which, by the way, I I'm pretty sure I mentioned this, but also it's been like a month since I fought that guy. So, <laughs> um, the guide I use uh, has little bits on the bosses. And it's like, uh, for that spider boss that took us God knows how long, uh, I was like, yeah, this is honestly the easiest boss of the game. You don't really need instructions on this one, you know. It's pretty self-explanatory. And it took me, like, an hour to, <laughs> to beat him. And I was, like, above the ideal level, too, if I remember correctly. See, like, the Hawk Idol, like, it's supposed to, like, hone in. But it's not honing in on where you're actually supposed to hit. Which is kind of weird. I guess like I should have better uh, AI than that. Right. Because you would think, like, I I'm no game dev. I've never, like, coded barely anything in my life. But, like, you would think you would just have it, like, go after, like, the main hitbox instead of an area that I would presume doesn't have a hitbox. I mean, maybe it does. Maybe the legs do have it. Well, the legs would have to have a hitbox gunner. <laughs> or you could just run through them. Is that how it works? I need to stop talking like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> There's a reason I went into comics and not into uh, video game development and programming. That was my dream for, like, a solid, like, two years. I wanted to be a video game programmer. Be a game dev. Be, like, one of the big game devs, too. Like, uh... I don't know. Start my own company, I guess. Be a game newel. I don't know. That time wasn't going great. Because when you look at me, you think Gabe Newell. That's what I say. Can you start focusing more on these eggs? Because this boss is just like a war of attrition. You just gotta get lucky on the... the egg spawns. I swear to god those blue balls weren't don't linger as much, but they were like really lingering there. It gets kind of annoying when you get like stuck between its legs. Ooh. That was close. Okay, that was close. I almost got hit by uh, one of the egg bullets. A rejected weapon from Billy Hatcher and the giant egg. Egg bullets. <laughs> or maybe that's in that game. I've I've never played it. Maybe maybe Billy gets an egg gun. I don't know. There is an egg gun in uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. As a reference to that. So. Should we do a Billy Hatcher stream one day? I think... I think I say yes. Someone hold this to me. <laughs> Be my greatest regret if I die a young death. Never got to stream Billy Hatcher <laughs> in the giant egg. That's such a weird game, by the way. Like, that's like one of those games I can, like, you either love that game or you hate that game. <laughs> At least for what I've heard. Like, there's no, there's no. <laughs> there's no like meh on I mean there's probably meh on Billy Hatcher. I don't know. Memory and YouTube personalities do a lot to you. There's a lot of time in this big YouTube like review person like the like wake of the Doug Walkers, I guess. And I love a lot of those guys, trust me. But uh 
You know, there's always an exaggeration, you know. So sometimes I would always wonder, like, is this game really that bad? Or is, you know, being kind of... Okay, I'm getting really slow on these on these eggs. Yeah, there we go. I need to find, like, a good, like, rhythm of attacking and getting rid of the stupid eggs. There's like a lot of little things in this fight. I keep like, I keep forgetting about. It causes me to die very frequently. Remember that one boss when <laughs> the other spider boss we were on for an hour and a half? I'm Starting to get flashbacks. This boss is a lot more fun, I guess, but. I don't know, maybe the other one was fun, and I just. I was giving it credit because I was tired or something. Whoa. See, like, they, they, like, do this warp around thing. Oh my god, we're screwed. You just got pinballed in there. It's a little insane. You gotta like slowly march him forward, which is kind of weird. Cause you gotta like circle around him to get all the, the stupid eggs. So I didn't even realize how low of health we were at. But you gotta like circle around him to get all the eggs. And then that moves him both up a little and both down a little. So it's like two steps forward and three steps back. Oh my god, we... I don't even know how, like, this... The homing on the blue light works. Because, like, sometimes it just follows you for goddamn ever. And sometimes it's just like, Oh, we're in a wall now. We give up. Probably the worst <laughs> that we've done so far. That didn't go well. Yo, uh, I doubt... I doubt sword... <laughs> sword work would... Magic time! Magic time! Flavor, flavor. I talked about that last time. That's still in my stupid head. Yo, shout out to Steven plays again. <laughs> and there we go. Sometimes you can get, like, under the legs and run through it that way. Other times you're just like, well, guess I'm dead. Can you save during a boss? I've never... I'm sure I've checked, but, like... No, oh, no. You can love though, which, you know, that's fair. Get over here, you bench. I just called him a bench. And that's what just happened.
See, like, what was up with that one little, like, blue spear that was just still... Still there. I don't get it. Just understand. <sighs> Let's try it again. At this rate, we're not gonna finish this game. Like, <laughs> we're just gonna forever be doing this. Maybe like focusing and not talking would help me out, but uh, I don't know, it didn't really help out that much. It did about as well as usual. Maybe. Oh, we're dead. Can't do anything about it. Final, final part, final bosses, yay! This isn't even the final boss. <laughs> like Oh my god, stop focusing on the eggs. Ah, damn it. That was seriously our best attempt yet. We're almost we almost have it. We almost freaking have it. I can feel it. There you go. Stop talking again so I can <laughs> concentrate. Which makes this the most entertaining episode of Yeast 2 yet. You know, so you get the rad boss music. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, there it goes. It's because I started talking. Clearly that's why that happened. go nice we didn't even gain a level from that that's unique 
Okay. As they don't unfloored. Uh, what? For what? Then the scroll of guidance words began to appear on the blank pay parchment. You know, I'm actually to those to those tuning in for the first time. I'm actually a writer, amateur writer. I want to one day be an author. Author. You can also tell that I'm not very good at this because author is my is what I want it to be. Yet my uh, speech impediment that I had when I was younger still lingers on when I say <laughs> that word. Oh, confidence, confidence, confidence. Anyway, and you would think that like I would know like a lot more words than I actually do. <laughs> but like I just read half of the words in yees and I'm like, what the fuck even is that? Like, and not even, like, fantasy words, just, like, just, like, normal, common words. <laughs> anyway, great warrior, you have braved many dangers to get here, but at last you have reached Solomon Shrine. Also, I can get, like, weird fantasy words, right? Like, dabby. Also, I definitely just mentioned it so I can dabby again. Oh, -ho! oh, this is why I'm cool with the kids. The statue can guide you to the heart of the shrine where we reside. If you, if you a pendant, place it upon your neck and touch the statue, and the path shall be open to you. There are two pendants to be found. A silver lies before you, as does a path of gold. Oh, do I need to? Oops. Uh. Do, 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 do. Where is it? I'm a little concerned about the gold part. I don't have a gold pendant. Hopefully, uh, I didn't read anything about it, so hopefully that's coming up. Maybe. So we got uh, a lot of places to go, it seems. Also, I have a stupid itch on my stupid ear, and it's gonna cause my mic do the little thing, and that's really annoying for all parties involved. Oh, you guys, you guys shoot, shoot, think about Hoopers. That's cool. Also, we're in the West Wing. This is where the president is. We're taking it to Trump. We're taking it to Trump. Adol is not conservative. I don't know. I probably shouldn't have brought up politics. Like, I'm. I'm one of those people that actually kind of likes politics. I like keeping up with it. And uh, fun fact about me, because today's fun fact of about Gunner, featuring Gunner, uh, <laughs> is uh, I actually spent a lot of my life studying the presidents. I like had this weird like three to four year phase where I just read nothing but president stuff, like from fifth grade to eighth grade basically I just read only about presidents I would read autobiographies about presidents I would read you know, just books about all the presidents you know I, I would get as many as I could get my hands on like children's books adults attend uh, books intended for you know older audiences as many as I can get about the presidents which is really I, I don't know it was this really strange hobby I had uh, I found them really interesting. And I still do. Even the ones I, you know, are not good people, which is a majority of them. But, uh, you know, it's like... I'm one of those people, but, like, I've just been... I And I'm glad I kind of did stop, because if I hadn't... Because, like, after the reason, like, I got out of the phase was, uh... Not because of Trump, because, uh, in my own personal opinions on him, blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, me becoming more politically active as a person. You know, getting closer to the voting age and all, growing up. Uh, it's more... It was more at the time that, uh, the library at my high school, uh, didn't have... Had only, like, two president books. That was it. A few biographies, but uh, they were ones I had mostly read before. 
and uh, also really short ones, like uh, you know, like a hundred pages or something, and half of it was pictures, you know. <laughs> uh, so that so that was kind of like half the reason I kind of stopped, you know. I just ran out of reading material, and I couldn't go to my actual town library that often because I didn't have a car and uh, couldn't really walk anywhere because it was super far away from my house and far away from my school so it wasn't very convenient to go to the library and stuff like that so yeah that was uh, so that so that was a very long window way for me to say I, I do get political, but it, I, I try to be less nowadays. At least openly talk about it. And I still do like hot takes and stuff on like Facebook and shit. But even then, I'm trying to stomp that out a little bit. Don't do that as much. Yeah, but that was a really, like, interesting part of my life. And, uh, when I first started it, I wanted to be a politician uh, during my middle school days. And then near the end, I wanted to be either a historian or a uh, history teacher. Idol heard a voice coming from Lilla Shell. I thought, Idol, there's a boy here to see you. He says he has urgent news. Please, come back to the village so we can speak of this face to face but be careful get here when you can don't rush you'll you'll let your guard down um weird <sighs> there's not like an easy place to teleport back here that's annoying <laughs> uh i'm almost out of level up so let's let's at least scout the area a little bit so who would it be oh we got guards here What's up, bro? Wonder if Keith took it. Oh, is Keith back in the village? Been this way a little while ago, but he managed to escape through here. Huh. Yeah, that was a kind of a unique part of my life. Oh, we're in the subterranean canal now. We probably should use the return magic. Oops. Back to Ramya Village. Got burping. I just ate, by the way. Like, the moment I finished eating, I turned on the stream, so. Hadot lives here, right? No, that's his guardhouse. And then up there's the guy with the well. Here we go. Oh, it's Tarf! Mr. Idol, you're too slow. Come on, hurry it up already. So, like, it happened right after you left. I saw that guy in the black cloak just outside the village. I was being all brave and sneaky and followed him all the way here. Lost sight of him, though, just after arriving in this village. Mr. Adel, I watch out. I'd watch out for that guy if I were you. He's real bad news. Seems like the demons really have it in for you, too, mister. You've been put through a lot. Is that it? Hmm. Uh, that was it. That was it. Hey, uh, Adol, uh, you should come back. Uh, yeah, you should come back. Okay, comes back. Yeah, so there's, like, this guy in a cloak, and he's nearby, and you should, like, be careful. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've ran into him twice now. He turned me into a demon. <laughs> In case you forgot that little detail. 
Well, I don't know. Maybe that was useful. And now we can do something. I don't know. Why that opens up this new area. In the shrine. Something stupid. Wait, how do I get... Is it like here? I'm sorry. I got it. Oh, let's go the little uh, outline of the spider still there. Oh, wait, no, this isn't where we go. Fuck, where do we go again? Oh, right, silver pendant. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is a dead end. <laughs> We're gonna have to go back now. I could be a moron sometimes. But that what makes me so lovable, I think. <laughs> no one's actually told me why they love me, so, you know. Ow. Oh, so that got depressing real fast. Jesus. That was a joke, by the way. I, I know why people love me. Because I'm me, damn it. Now I just sound like I'm a narcissist. I mean, I mean... Yeah, they love you. They love you for you, man. That sound like obligated to love you. That's weird. Also, oh, we almost have enough for that stupid shield. That's uh, sixty thousand. Jesus. Where did we decide that you needed to go? It was like down here. One of these other doors, I think. Oh no, yeah, it's back this way. I'm remembering that. He's just like muscle memory. You gotta get lost first, so then you gotta remember. Oh, this is where I remembered where I needed to go. <laughs> and you go where you need to go. Actually, what's over here? I don't think we ever checked this. This seems important. Oh, uh, oh, this is where we came out. Okay, I'm done. This I haven't seen from this side. Well, we just wasted a whole bunch of time. What's in this room again? That yeah, leads out here. Right. And this is where we got the beep beep beep. Idle. Idle, there's a guy in a cloak. <laughs> it's like in like if if like there's like a toad in a Mario game that called you before the final level. Like in Super Mario Odyssey, you're about to go to the moon, and then you get a call from Captain Toad. Mario! I, I can't do a toad voice, but Mario, the <laughs> breaking news, Princess Peach has been captured. It's like my new favorite Twitter account, uh, most trending video on Internet Explorer, where it's like the biggest, the most, the video that's that trended with like the most views per day except it's outdated information from like five years ago so they're in like uh like 2015 <laughs> Dude, i mean like hey remember this year from 2012 but they're just now I've, I've i've i just realized i've explained this joke all the way through just look up the twitter account it's a lot funnier that i'm clearly describing it <laughs> Oh, right, I remember. You can heal faster if you're a Rue. Neato. I was gonna wait until there was, like, some activity in chat. Uh, we do have a viewer other than me watching right now. So I'll, I'll take it as it is. Or maybe someone's watching the VOD on YouTube. But uh, I had a very... Uh, I had an experience today that made, that made me feel like a total asshole. I, I felt so guilty after I did this. So uh, it's the holiday season. And uh, I had recently been given money by my grandparents. You know, the usual. And uh, I realized, and uh, right next to my workplace, uh, I work at a bowling alley for anyone curious. 
right next to the bowling alley is actually a flea marketplace. And recently, this flea marketplace opened up a stand. Well, I guess they don't open it up. Someone else does because they you could rent out space. Anyway, the people that rent out the space sell used games and like really good quality used games and used game consoles. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, and it's a big thing for me because I collect video games and then they have some rarer stuff there. And uh, I'm lucky I haven't spent all my money there yet. Keyword being yet. So I decided to uh, take the money I got from my grandparents uh, for, for, for the holidays. And I went there to buy a Nintendo 64 because I collect games like I just said. And one of the main system, uh, the brand new system, I guess, uh, I want to work on in 2020 is N64. Uh, I had bought uh, Castlevania for the N64, or Castlevania 64, so a lot of other people know it, uh, about a month ago, I think. And, uh, yeah, so I was like, okay, I finally need... Ooh, the battle shield. Wasn't that an ease one? That's like the battle shield in ease one, right? I can never remember these things. Nice. Uh, sorry. Burped again. All right. So I go in there wanting a N64 and they have an N64. They have a whole bunch of awesome consoles there. Uh, I gave it once, like, I had never seen a Sega, a Sega Saturn in real life before. And they have one down there. And each time I see it, I'm like, ooh, Sega Saturn. Maybe I should pick that up. Even though I will... Well, there's only, like, one good Sega Saturn game. Like, on, like there's Knights. And, like, that's it. It's <laughs> like, uh, I guess... I guess, uh... Uh, Panzer Dragoon is another one, but I'm pretty sure that game's kind of expensive now. Well, most Sega Saturn games are expensive now, but, you know. The principle of the thing. So, yeah. I just realized that the kid told us the entrance of the village. Does that mean that we had to go back to the entrance of the village and he would be there for something stupid? Anyway, back to the story. I've done 50 tangents of the story. Like, all of my stories. And, uh, so basically I'm in there. And, uh, I, I see the price and I also see, oh hey, I should pick up another game for it. Because, uh, spoiler alert about Castlevania 64, it is not known for being a good game. <laughs> I just got to get some fun to be a fun stream game, and Castlevania is one of my favorite game series. So I would probably pick it up eventually, but, you know. Anyway. So I pick it up. And I pick that one up, and then... So I go away to see uh, how much uh, to do some mental math because I've already forgotten how much cash I brought with me you know like, all right how much do I blah, blah 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 how much do I need and I'm counting everything and I uh, I hear this guy talking very loudly being like hey for the systems do they come with all the wires and stuff and then the lady behind the counter is like yeah they come with the uh, the wires one controller all that stuff and I'm like, oh, cool, he's looking to buy a console also. I go over, I go over, and I'm looking at everything. I've done the math. I can buy another game. I mine up Donkey Kong 64. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get Donkey Kong 64. I have just enough. And, uh, also, I guess this uh, Tyranny Tunnel is, like, the one place I haven't gone yet. So, at least it's, like, this entrance. So, that's what we're going to do. Anyway, so I go back over. I'm like, hey, I'm ready to pick out. The guy who was talking stops dead in his tracks once he hears me say that. Turns around, starts walking back towards the stand. And then, uh, I'm just, I'm just standing there and she's like, oh, what do you want? 
I can fear his eyes on me. His eyes. I didn't hear what system he wanted. I didn't hear that. Uh. That's it. Oh, the Nintendo 64. The lady's eyes got really big. It's like, oh, okay. And then she started checking it out. And he's like, of course. Of course. And I, like, turned my head. I'm like, uh, what? And he's like, I knew you were going to get that. And I was like, oh, were, were you going to get that? And he's like, oh, yeah, I was going to get it. And then now I'm suddenly like, oh, no. <laughs> I, I, I feel really guilty. Like, he's just standing next to me, like, giving me the evil eyes. Being like, you just stole this gift from me. Also, I just, that's the entrance. What am I doing? Anyway, uh, like, you just stole this Nintendo 64. And I didn't know what he wanted it for. I didn't know if he wanted it for a personal or for the holidays. Like, maybe... Like, I didn't know who he was, and then I was like, oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. And then she's like, hey, man, and then she starts talking to the other guy, hey, man, sorry, he, if, uh, first come, first serve, we don't do, uh, we don't reserve anything. And then he's like, oh, okay, that, no, he's like, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. He's being a good sport about it. Which, you know, would be helpful, because if I was in his shoes, that's what I would do. I'd be like, oh, it's fine, and then i go cry <laughs> later. And a part of me was like, oh, I should just, I should let him buy it. Do I really need this N64 right now? I got plenty of other games I can play. I'm going to go home and I'm going to buy some more Steam games. So I have more options for uh, games to do on stream. I'm going to do all this. Do I really need this N64? This, and then this guy kind of seems kind of, oh, like he was about to relive his childhood. So, but then I eventually decided <laughs> uh, to be just like, you know what, whatever. And then I was remembered, oh, right, I was going to get a game also, because she's, uh, like, locking the case. And I was like, oh, uh, wait, uh, one more second. Uh, I, I wanted to get a game, one of the N64 games. She's like, oh, okay, which one? Donkey Kong 64? I hear the guy next to me, God damn, well, I guess. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, what? And he's like, that's the game I was going to get. And then I was like, oh, uh, what? And he's like, yeah. He was like, yeah, if you weren't going to get Donkey Kong 64, I was going to buy that one and get next 64 later. Like what I did with uh, Castlevania. And I was like, oh, no, I feel even worse. <laughs> I just stole this guy's whole plan. He, he was talking to the girl. And then, like, the moment he stopped talking, I just rolled up. <laughs> like it's not like I, I came from like the outside so I had like no prior knowledge I know that he was talking to the lady about consoles and what came in the package <laughs> I just felt like the biggest asshole like I didn't know that he wanted Donkey Kong 64 I didn't even know he wanted the N64 I knew none of these things I'm honestly I feel like I am I should be innocent in this. Like, you know, this wasn't like a malicious intent here. <laughs> you know? It's just a whole bunch of coincidences, like, wrapped up together in this one moment. Oh. Okay, I'll talk to you in a minute, Martian Manhunter. But it. <laughs> all these little things, like, wrapped together, all these little coincidences, and then I'm walking out of. <laughs> out of the place being like god i'm an i'm a terrible person like <laughs> like that's that's all i am now i i did this heist for an n64 <laughs> that <laughs> for two games one of them i can't even play because i forgot the donkey kong 64 you need the expansion pack thing and i don't have that so i won't be able to play that right now and my other option is Castlevania 64, a game that I wanted to do on stream because I thought it would be a funny stream game. And I need to buy a whole bunch of crap for that to get that working. Uh, to get that idea off the ground. It's just like, I came home and I was like, what, what, what have I become? What kind of monster am I? Uh... 
And it was kind of funny because he was, uh, after it, he was like, you want to be willing to trade me a PS3 for that? Like, you buy the N64, I give you a PS3. And for a second, I was like, oh, you're going to get a PS3 out of this. Because that's another system I don't own. I, I skipped on the PS3. I mean, I didn't really have a choice. I was pretty young when the PS3 came out. I didn't have money. <laughs> so, I just never got one. Hi, Keith. He does kind of look like Martian Manhunter. Like, uh... Uh, there's a really good uh, Martian Manhunter uh, series that DC made, uh, comic series. It was like 2015, I think. It, it was in that dead zone uh, right after the new 52 wasn't like the big brand, but it wasn't before. But it was before Rebirth. It was like this little dead period, and you had like little books like uh, brand new Batgirl series, uh, Grayson. Uh, they had a cool Black Canary series, and then they had this Martian Manhunter series. And this is how he actually looks in that series. By the way, I would highly recommend reading that. Uh, I think Volume 1 is called Identity Crisis or something. And then Volume 2 is Red Sun, I think. My name is Keith. I lost control of my emotions, so I ran away from the guards and hid here. You need to contact the goddesses, right? And what you need to do... But then what you need to do is go to the goddess's palace. From what I can tell, though, the only way left to get there is to slip in through this canal. Go through the water control room. Once you're there, close the water gates to dam the canal. That's the first step. Here, I've got the key. Take it. Consider my thanks for your help in the lava prison. All right, we got the floodgate key. A uh, question is, where is the water room? <laughs> I'm going to stay here for a while and try to calm myself. Yo, did I relate to Keith on a spiritual level i also when i can stress that i go in the corners so <laughs> like hide myself away uh back when another fun fact about me or less fun uh i used to have pretty constant panic attacks uh and then at work uh when i would get a panic attack uh you know sometimes i would have to tell my managers hey i'm having a panic attack sometimes it's just like it's hitting so hard and it's like okay I, it's fairly dead right now I'm gonna go try to deal with my shit and I'll go to the bathroom and like hide and like oh my god how do I stop 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 freaking out gunner stop freaking out so I really have to keep on that level with overblown emotions unlike Keith though I have no idea where the goddamn water room is is it in this part of the tunnels is it in a diff oh wait, that looks like a thing. How do I get through that thing? I don't know why I'm burying my soul tonight, but I am. Let me. How do I get down there? Because of these, because like I assume all these uh, little water areas will become walkable areas soon. Like, how do I get there? Is it a... No, it's not a roundabout way. How do I get there? Maybe I have to go in a different way? But, like, none of the other ways lead there. Like, you see the chest there. Where's... Maybe I'll just consult the guide. Let's just consult the guide. Who cares? It's the final episode. I've already done it like 10 times in this dungeon. Who cares? Kind of behind in the vlog. The vlog? What? No, the... <laughs> the guide. Okay, so we need to go. It's in uh, the same part of the canal where the... Uh, the uh, 
What's it called? The Runaways Hideout. Same area as that, so. It's in the, this part of the canal. Somewhere. So that's all I read. That's in this part. And they recommend you warp from here. So. We're gonna try to find it here. Maybe. Actually, is it the, uh... Is it the Dragon Door? Because that didn't really strike me as, a A water room, but, you know. Anything's possible, I guess. Greater shit's happened. Also, I really hope that if we lower the, the water, we can stop teleporting around. Because honestly, these like little canals have been kind of my least favorite part of the shrine. It, it's still better than the tower and going like, oh, you're on floor 40. Oh, well, you need to backtrack to floor 13 <laughs> and do shit there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, how does this work? Oh. Pull the lever? Sure! Oh, we got experience for that? Neato. Look at training. How low will it go? It doesn't exist anymore. That's how water works. Okay, how do we get down? Where is a way to get down? I want to explore the bottom. <laughs> this guy, this really reminds me of uh, one of the uh, floors in uh, Luigi's Mansion 3. I guess a slight spoiler alert for that game. If you haven't played it yet. I recommend you play it. It's, it's, it's a fine, it's an okay game. Anyway, uh. There's a floor where you go for the first half of it and everything's flooded, and then you go for the second half of it where uh, you can walk through the little canal area. It's a, uh, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty cool floor. I wouldn't say it's my... Definitely not one of my favorite floors, but it's actually kind of annoying. Didn't really like that one. Uh, but, you know, it reminds me of this, so... In fairness, I don't really like this either. Golden armor. Posting superb defense. Weaker blows can't even scratch it. Nice. Which means if we ever go back to the first area, <laughs> those fuckers can't even hit us. Oh my god, that's a really cool little sprite thing of the... The poing, like the water thing behind us. And I know that was a really bad description, the poing. But you got what I meant, right? Right? Right. Okay, it's looking like you still have to, uh... Like, uh... Teleport to each area. Not a fan of that. Oh, is this like a... Can you always get here? Or... Well, fuck, now you can. I don't, I don't know why. Oh, that's why. Oh, okay, this is where it connects. I was getting worried because of these. They wouldn't let, they wouldn't connect because of it. Although where? Which one is this one? <laughs> oh, that's the one we're in. This is uh the middle one. You could, oh, so that's why all the enemies in each section is different. That's cool. Falcon Idol. What does that do? Fucking idol with piercing red eyes focuses fire magic with greater accuracy. Oh, get out of here, Hawk Idol. No need you. We got Falco. <laughs> okay, there's a door up, so let's remember that. It's by the Hawk Idol. I mean, by the Falcon Idol. But we need to explore a little bit more down here. Is now. I think this is the area. I was like, how do I get there? Oh, nope, this is not it. Battle sword. Hell yeah. Let's see how good this is. Nice. Battle sword. 
So there's one more area. There was like a like a whole like looked like the like a little shrine within the shrine within the canal. Also, when you if you would have had me guess what one of the uh, major gimmicks of Solomon Shrine was, I would have not guessed running through the sewers. That's a uh, little not what I expected. Oh man. Wall. Lame. This seems like a secret area. Also, weird. Itch. I don't know why. I just. I don't know if it's just like the colder weather or what, but I'm like fucking getting cold chills and then have to scratch myself like a monkey. <laughs> Like, I'm having one on my back right now, and I'm trying my best not to scratch it, but also it's a back scratch, so that's kind of nice. So this leads to the second one. Let's explore this place a little bit. I couldn't find the area I was thinking of. So that was slightly annoying, but, you know. What you gonna do, bad boys, bad boys? Let's... Oh, that looks important. Let's go there. <laughs> Hey, I know you just, it's probably going to be, hey, I know you just flooded it, but uh, you need to come back. We come back. Yo, so like, water, bro. <laughs> so weird. What does it mean? <laughs> okay, how do I? I should have been following the canals. How do I get there? <laughs> it's like heading this way. We're getting nowhere fast. This is not working out. Are you just gonna have to like walk up and then walk around to a place we can fall off? Seems like it. So we're about to get another level, boys. Also, I guess that explains why the hawk idol kind of wasn't always like hitting its mark. It's because uh, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to always hit its mark. So, I mean, now I could be a lot less angry at the Hawk Idol. It's both a good and a bad thing, because I like being angry at the Hawk Idol. But now I could be angry at the Falcon Idol, I guess. So, there's that. There's my one silver lining in life. <laughs> we just passed 8 o'clock, one hour in. I think we're making okay time. Maybe. We probably have to go a little bit over. But that's fine. I'm having fun. We're using it up. I still have no idea how to get... Uh, there, is there, like, not another way down around here? There's gotta be something. Oh, here we go. So there's a few areas I need to explore now. Saw that one though. Not that. What the fuck? The fire can hit you when you're down here. We're on a different plane. <laughs> this game is bullshit. Let's stop playing it. <laughs> so we're. Oh shit. There we go. Is there another step right down here? Oh my god, me and the sponsor are doing the fucking tango. Uh, oh, here we are. Okay, there's a... Uh, that guy. Wow, that's... That was real useful. I'm glad we did that. Maybe you can't get there. Cause we like, maybe you get there from another one of the little doors. Maybe. Okay, what did we, 
What have we gained? We've gained all of this. The Falcon Idol. And then uh Plug A key. I'm trying to figure out like what it wants us to do next. I guess we just keep exploring until we figure that out. So let's go in the room mode. Heal up a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. I'm surprised Axel hasn't been barking. Because at the beginning, he was whining. Like he wanted to go outside. But now he's like, eh, whatever. Oh, Gunner's talking to himself again. I remember one of the first times I talked to my sister about uh, streaming. I was like, yeah, I basically just... Like, if you don't know what I'm actually doing... Like, if you were just to walk in, it just seems like I'm talking to myself. Because that's kind of what it is. Sort of. So she's like, oh, you talk to yourself? And, uh, you get any viewers? And I'm like, oh, sometimes. And she's like, oh, sometimes? Yeah, you know, we're, we're growing. And then she'd be like, so you have a few streams where no one shows up. Yeah, that, that happened once or twice. And then she'd be like, so, in that case, you are talking to yourself. And I was like, well, you don't need to be so harsh about it. <laughs> you know. But that's just, like, the beginning of any true streamer. The story, I guess, is where you go from there. That's what matters, I guess. I don't know. This is all very new to me. And I keep trying to use metaphor. And by the end, I'm like, oh, I don't know. Maybe that metaphor is not very accurate. Oh, here's another door. Now we're here. This here. Okay, we're with the squiddy dudes. Squid cave. Um, okay, so we're like right at the beginning again. Actually, I think we didn't go to the very left one. The most left. This one. That's because there's nothing here. <laughs> I'm glad I did that. Okay. You know, for some reason, I just assumed this area would get easier to explore once we lowered the water. Uh, I was incorrect. Feels like it's harder now. So how did I take one thing of damage? When did that happen? It was so random. Yeah, 240. I guess we're going back to the guide. I guess.
Okay, so we need to, like, find Keef again. But he's not in the same spot. Or something. Like, we need to ascend and then descend and then <laughs> go back down and then go back up. And then it's weird. But we need to eventually, like, maybe not find Keef. Keef is actually optional, I think. I don't know. It says something about him being optional. But the main thing is that we need to get to a new area with uh, new enemies. So what's this, the guide... Sorry, weird-ass cold chill there. Uh, what's the guide meant? One of the areas we're already in, and I just got there early? Which seems unlikely. But there's another area. Which is also possible. The squids are going to be the death of me, man. And then it says, like, we need to get back to the central one. I'm trying to figure out which path leads back to... This can honestly be a super annoying dungeon. Like, I keep saying it's not as bad, bad as the tower, which it's not. It's no Tower of Darn. But it's still not, like, fun. This isn't right either. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? I don't... <laughs> Here we go. No, this is wrong too! Damn it. I'm losing my mind in the sewers. Losing my mind in the sewers. Going around in circles in the sewers. Trying to find what the fuck I'm supposed to do in the sewers. The sewers. It'd just be easier to just flip and teleport to the. Ah! Screw we're doing. Also, I never turned tab back on. Maybe we have more luck if we start here. Maybe. Also, let's seal up a little bit. Heal up and shut up. Like, it feels like we've been going for, like, not very long and also, like, super long. Because we've been going for an hour. Which isn't that long, but it feels a lot longer. But we've also achieved a lot in that hour. Just feels like, I don't know. I'm just learning to, like... Stop trying to judge my progress based on arbitrary, like, times and numbers. You know. Sometimes you gotta, man. You gotta, like, manage your time. The life of the gamer, <laughs> as we call it. What the f- Oh, right. This is a run- Oh, my God. I'm so freaking stupid. The runaway hideout's in here. I, I've been fighting squids. Didn't even notice. Let's get this restock up anyway. But basically, we need to get in the west. Also, we. Just realized we're almost max level. Uh, if I remember correctly, the max level you can be in this game is 52. I want to say. 
50 something. And we're nearly there. I mean, look, we're, we almost have full health and full magic. So that's super nice. Also, this is. Here we go. We need to get to that statue. Wait, no, we don't. We need to get to the. I'm, I'm trying to remember. What the super guides? I'm trying not to check the guide every goddamn second. Especially because I don't want to be sitting here reading for half the time. Not even reading the game, reading <laughs> a stupid guide. Does this even lead to the tunnels? How do I. Where's. Oh my god. I don't remember where anything fucking is. So that was gross, and I apologize. I think it's this way. Maybe we'll just max out our level by then. Suddenly level 52. Nope. Don't mind me, just Adel Christian. Running around. Looking for demons to kill. Capital D, lowercase kill. Yeah, screw it. Let's just check the stupid thing. Okay, we just... Let's do this. Go back to the Runaway Hideout. There's probably going to be a lot of switching coming up of me switching out of game to guide, from guide to game. The, new, the name of my new podcast. I don't know. Basically, I need to get to the floodgate room again, and then we're going to go from there. Exactly what the guide says. The guide, what the guide says is law. How do I get up there? It's like down here. There we go. Oh, so Axel is starting to stir. Oh, so let's uh, heal up a little bit. Don't mind me, Splatoon kid. Hey, Splatoon fans, there's going to be an uh, an update. And I was really excited because I was like, oh my god, new content. But it's more just esports stuff, balancing and damage percentages and stuff like that. But you know, I was like, oh my god, new Splatfest. <laughs> uh, I love Splatoon too, but, and the Splatoon series in general, but like, Half of the fun is the community that comes around on those special days. That would happen. You know, now that they're... Splatoon 2 is a finished game now. Ignoring uh, eSport fixes. They're not going to add any new weapons and gloves and stuff. And it's kind of sad, in a way. This is a go west and south. Eventually, D, go down some stairs. Okay, we've gone down some stairs. Actually, ooh, big brain mode. <laughs> Turn off tab. Okay, we need to get back to the area we found the battle armor in. Whoa! Oh, 
What's your problem? That definitely wasn't like a barking thing. That was just him sneezing, I guess. Like his version of, ah, rah, rah, you know, what us humans do on a day to day basis. Also, I feel like I took a wrong turn somewhere. Here we go again. This has been like the last 20 minutes. Just me going through some dank sewers, trying to figure out what, the, what I'm supposed to be doing. Here's a chest. Was this the battle armor? Are you gonna be okay? Do you are do you need to sneeze? Just sneeze, bro. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I have to give a pep talk to my dog, because you know. He, he's a dingus. <laughs> oh here we go. Now we're in a different part. The battle armor was like down here, because the battle armor is being guarded. No, the sword was being guarded by a guy. I think. I don't know anymore. Who am I? I don't. <laughs> I Here's an important room. Then uh, that's of it. Just explore this place. Maybe, maybe we'll find something. Maybe one day this hell will end. Who knows? I am having fun though. Even though we've, it'll probably really smells. And <laughs> that probably really, really smells. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Uh, there's another archway. But I don't know if that's where we want to go. There we go. I don't remember anymore. Who am I? I've been running through the sewers forever. I, I've, for, I've forgotten my name. My identity. Other things. I've forgotten the password to my phone. We're doomed, I tell you. Doomed. Damned, can't even use emergency call because there's no service. Has that ever happened? Like someone tried to, someone was murdered because they couldn't call 911 because of cell service. It's bound to happen, right? Because I know, but like part of me is like not sure because there's like random precautions, especially when emergency, emergency calls and like emergency numbers. Like a fun fact, uh, if you're ever in a foreign country, because, uh, you know, every country's got their own version of 911. That's a different number, wherever, whatever country you go to. Uh, if uh, you, even if you're in a country where it's a different number, if you put in 911, it will actually still dial the emergency services of whatever country you're in. So I was like, you probably like, I don't know, maybe you should learn it because it kind of feels important. Because if you're yelling at someone to go get help, like, go call 911, and then they're like, we, I don't, what is number? I know. I'm racist. God damn it. I've known it all along, and now, now I just confirmed it, and I'm so sick of running through these sewers that I want to die. Because, like, we need to get, like, down here. This little area. But I can't find the stairs. <laughs> this leads nowhere and he's in there and we're out here and he's the sheriff and we're out here and I just remembered we're in there. Oh god. <laughs> What have I become? I wear this crown of thorns to leave my liar's chair. Oh, here's a new set of stairs. 
Is this the foretold stairs? How the fuck do you get to that? <laughs> also, we can totally afford that shield now. That's funny. Who? What? What are you? What kind of sorcery magic is this? What are you doing? You can go back there. What's the point? Where does it lead? I don't. <laughs> I don't get it. Why are we still here just to suffer? One day we'll know if love can find the exit. One day I'll go dancing on the moon. <sighs> Where the fuck do I go? And I know just like a minute ago, it's like, yeah, we're going to go full guide. But now I don't want to because I felt like I knew where I was going. And now we're here. <laughs> Is there like... Nope. Ah, I, I'm sick of the sewers. I'm so sick of this. So sick of the goddamn sewers. Where do I go? Okay, I guess we need to go where the Hawk Idol was. That's actually where we need to go. I read ahead. Because I'm a cheater. And <laughs> oh my god. Who's, whoever is the other person watching this right now? Who's ever lurking right now? I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, because why? 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 Or why? I'm so tired. <laughs> I wanted to beat Ease tonight. And we are going to. We're going to beat it tonight. I don't care if we're here till 11 o'clock in the morning. And we're still in the goddamn sewers. <laughs> we're going to beat Ease. We're beating Ease too. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. This isn't even where the Hawk Idol is. Probably not. It's a very different area. And I need to read back up. I fuck the f Not even the Hawk Idol, the Falcon Idol. I've forgotten what items are. <laughs> oh, my throat's starting to hurt a little bit. Probably because I've been yelling. You never realize how loud you are until your throat bleeds from the inside out. A lovely image for any of those trying to enjoy dinner. Also, why are you eating dinner near this? I mean, I guess that's one use for Twitch. You know what? You know what's weird? And I don't know if it's just me getting older, <laughs> but I can't like eat and watch things anymore. I used to be able to be like, oh yeah, I'm just chilling, eating the sandwich, watching whatever, playing a video game. I can't do that anymore. I, I I need to like focus on one thing. What was this? This was I don't remember anymore. Ugh. Like I uh, I can't like specifically video games. I can sometimes do YouTube a YouTube video or something. But like eating and like, cause I, I just focus too much on one thing now. Like I can't multitask anymore. And that's so weird to like talk about. And especially since I feel like it, it's one of those things like, oh yeah, I'm getting older, but I don't want to, but I'm only 19. 
All right, this. What is the point of this? So I can hit this guy? This game's dumb. Worst Yee's game. The first one was better. They had trees, and you could talk to the trees, and the trees would give you stuff. Hashtag bring back the trees. I, I am the Adel. I speak for the trees. And I say... Okay, we're... We're gonna try this again. You know what? We need to... Uh, it's actually in the... Uh... So what I guess is what I my problem has been. Is that I keep trying to like take like weird routes to get there and maybe this was my plan to begin with and we're just repeating what happened a fucking half an hour ago but we need to go through here find the canal area because that's the actual canal we need to be in because it's right up here isn't it no, it's... It's, uh... Let's forget where it is. Where the fuck is it? Who am I? What am I? Am I the Adol? Or is Adol me? Bum, bum, bum. Alright. Well, it's probably gonna be on this first floor. So... Explore this place, Adol. You've gone mad. You've gone insane. You're about to max out on levels just by running around this place for the 500th time. <laughs> Damn it, it'll you're you get results, kid. <laughs> you're gonna. Oh. Is that buddy I hear? Buddy trying to figure out why I've gone insane. Here yeah, it's this way, right? Uh, no! Where am I? How'd I get to the second story again? I wanted to go down. This doesn't even lead there, I don't think. Where am I going? Ah! <laughs> Why are the final areas of these games so bad? Just I don't care how much sweet Spanish guitar is in here. I I don't like it. <laughs> I'm tired of Spanish guitar. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't <laughs> Shout out to the fact that this is the worst stream <laughs> ever made. There's never been a worse one. Not the Guake Melee stream where it was going at like 10 frames a second. Not the other Yi stream where it kept randomly skipping ahead and it ruined the VOD and now I can't upload it. Even though I totally will eventually. <laughs> I just won't fix anything. This is just my life. Welcome to my life to be heard. Find the place I need to go. Oh my god. Okay, I don't think it's here. I think we need to go back to the West Wing. This isn't it either. How, how did I get here? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from, Kanaijo? I can't tell if I'm good at singing or not. Like, sometimes I'm on key and sometimes, like, sometimes I have, like, say on key, but, like, rhythm. I feel like, you know, like, 
God, nah, Joe. That's not a good example. I need... I'm losing my goddamn mind in this fucking shrine. I swear to God. I'm gonna flip a desk. It's bad because I have a lot of important documents in this desk. Why won't anyone talk in chat? Why won't anyone relieve me of my <laughs> insanity? Who is the lurker? Who is it? <laughs> Did they leave? <laughs> no, they're still here. <laughs> this isn't it. Where am I going? Oh, this is this is an upstairs. That's not what I want. I want to go downstairs. I have no idea where I'm going anymore. I seriously have like no goddamn idea what I'm even doing. Like, did I already come here? Who knows? Everything looks the goddamn same in the goddamn Solomon Shrine. <laughs> I gained a level because I've killed millions of demons. Just all trying to find this goddamn place. It's like... I can't remember anything. I'm losing my memory. <laughs> Speaking of memory... I saw cats. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, I do know why my friends and I went to go see cats. Because we heard it was goddamn awful. And we wanted to see it with our own eyes. And we did. We we saw cats. We, we went out. And we... All three of us bought tickets to cats. And we watched the movie Cats. And I guess while I figure out what the fuck I'm doing, I guess we can talk about cats. <laughs> That's the state I'm in. I'm like, we need something more interesting than me running around. Oh, I know. The 2019 version of cats. That's it. That's the ticket. <laughs> we're going to be on the... We're, we're going to be in the big leagues now gonna be like ninja and gonna get paid two billion to play uh play battleborn or whatever anyway i saw cats and uh first off it lives up to the hype it is such an awful movie it is like unfoundably dumb and i've never seen the play uh I don't, I don't know, this, this movie both sold me and, uh, <laughs> both sold and unsold me on the play. So the actual play is like makeup and shit. So it, I, I feel like it would be easier to get into the film, but it, it's this weird CGI monstrosity. It's the only way I can describe it. It's seriously maybe the most horrifying movie I've ever seen it is so goddamn frightening like I was talking to my family about it and my mom was like well was at least the music good and like yeah the music's fine problem is you can't get into any of the songs because each time you Pay attention to things. You notice, oh, uh, Rebel Wilson's collar doesn't look like it was finished. <laughs> or the fact that when you're trying to get into a song and suddenly like these weird CGI cockroach people show up. But they're the size of cockroaches. And but they have like the but they also have like the face of uh, Mr. Electric. From Shark Boy and Lava Girl, <laughs> like that's the only way I can describe it. Like the whole movie is like watching the Mr. Electric scenes from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. That's it. That's the only way 
You can feed. You can describe cats to people. It's like, that's it. That's it. And also, I'm. Oh my god. I'm gonna. We've been on the stupid tunnels. East wing leading north. Okay. That helps me a little bit. Just a little. So we need to be in the east wing. Is this... Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a yeast slide, no escape from realities. Open your e yeast, look up to the sun and yeast. <laughs> He's just an idol, nobody loves him. He's just a poor boy coming, presumably from some family. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What was I even uh, talk cats? So you can't get any into any of the music. Like, uh, I sort of liked Rebel, uh, the song Rebel Wilson does. But also, at the beginning, uh, it's going to get not safe for work really fast. She starts scratching her inner thigh. But the camera is positioned behind her. So all it looks like is that she's putting her hands somewhere between her legs. That's how this scene is filmed. And I just need to know why. Because she starts making noises and it's heavily implied that she's supposed to be scratching herself, but it also looks like she's just going full force and that in a PG-13 movie, by the way. Uh, it's honestly... Maybe, maybe the worst movie I've ever seen. I've... There are a few films quite like Cats, though. Oh my god, we found it. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, gee. How many times did I run past that? Probably like a million goddamn times. Because I thought it was an area we'd already been to. Because we've been here a million times. Honestly, like, Yeast is. Oh, no, nope. Do not go there. Nope. We're, we want to stay here. <laughs> uh, Yeez is B. Coming one of those series that I would like to replay, but then that little part of your brain remembers that one part of the game you don't like, and you're like, no, no, we're not doing it. And that, for me, it's probably this shit. And that's probably the same for Yeez 1 also. Like, I wouldn't want to replay this, only because of this one section. So I will probably never touch Yeast 2 for like another like six years. All because of this section. And that really sucks because Yeast 2 is honestly like a really good game up to this part. It's me, Keith. Really. This is the entrance to the bell tower known as Campoline of Lane. Campoline? Uh, I don't fucking know anymore. And the sacrifice ritual is beginning. On the fifth toll, the girl Maria will die. Sava is lying in wait at the entrance, but I'm not strong enough to fight her. You need to save the poor innocent girl in my place, Adel, please. Will do, Martian Manhunter. Oh my god. 
god, we're finally here. We have the... The eggplant wizards from Kid Icarus. Oh my god, it's finally happening. <laughs> How tough are these guys? Whoa, these guys are tough, man. Whoa, what the hell? Spendthrift. What is that? Sachi. Oh, we have 9999 gold. Okay. Adel ran around here until he became a millionaire in gold. So I'm gonna do the math. Like, if this was in real life, and like, assuming, like, we we do like a common ratio for how much, how much is in one thing of these gold. Like, I don't know. I, I'm no good with gold statistics, so like. Figuring out the exact amount of gold is kind of beyond me, but like, someone needs to figure out if you have 9,000, 99,000 gold, like, and you brought Adel to real life, how, how rich would he be? That's like, that's, that's some Game Fairy shit. Because Game Fairy actually did like something like that, only it was, uh, like a full set of diamond armor in Minecraft or something? Something like that in Minecraft. And probably some other uh, games too, because that's kind of like a common, cool little video you can make. And you could you, you probably turn probably one of the easy, like a pretty like simple idea, but also an, an idea that could easily be turned into uh, oh, we're at the God's Palace. Are we supposed to go to Okay, there was an area that I skipped by because I was like, oh, that's where we need to go. I need to explore. But now I'm not so sure. Do we go there first or do we go to the god statue first? I don't know. Uh, let's just see what's in here. Okay, this is uh the boss area. I'm going to look up real quick if we need to go to the goddess statue first or... Okay, so we need to actually head to the goddess set, the goddess temple first. And we can probably get to level uh, 47 by then. Oh, yeah, we're totally. Level 47 in our grasp. The gold guys give a ton of experience. They give about 100. So this is probably a really good place to grind. We're at the guy's palace. Solomon's shrine is goddamn huge. Okay. I, I I don't know if it's just my little freaking brain. Only playing Persona games. But I've always like thought shrines were supposed to be a lot smaller. This was just a full out like city, basically. We are the goddesses of ease. Please come forward. It's time, baby. Oh, this music. It is good that you have come. We have great need of your strength. In order to reach the core of the shrine, where we await, you'll need to f find and use the second pendant. Those sort of look like feet, huh? And they look slightly different, I think. It's kind of hard to tell because they're uh, opaque or whatever the term is. Some of our people have been turned to stone, and one of them carries it. Also enshrined in the campo campaignally, I don't know, is called the Dreaming Idol. It can be used to undo the curse of petrification. First bring the idol to us, and we shall instruct you to use it. Okay, so we need to go get that. So that's why we go back to the other place. And we get healed! Nice. I was worried, because... Oh, this is... Is this a teleport point? Yep, we got all the teleporting points. Yay! Awesome.
Honestly, I actually probably wouldn't mind achievement hunting in these. Because I'm curious what, like, a uh, 100% run of these would be considered. Because there's, like, a few different modes you would do. Stuff like that. So what am I doing? It's up here. Okay, now we take this place on. Or just the door, I guess. A red-headed swordsman. You're the one who's been making our lives a living hell, are you not? My name is Zava. Son of men. You must be taught your place, and I assure you the lesson will be a long and painful one. Ha ha ha! Offer yourself up to me. I will drink your blood. I will feast on your flesh. Dance for me. Dance the waltz of death. Dance the lambada of demise. So, red-headed swordsman, let's see what you can do. Whoa! What the fuck? Oh, I didn't even... So we need to attack the bats, it seems, and then we can attack Zava. She's not really doing anything. Maybe the bats are the only. Nah, we, we have to fight her. Because the bats are like her little disciples, I guess. Oh, so I really should have equipped that stupid idol. Like, I don't want to die on purpose, but... We may have to die on purpose. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can do it. I do think, I, I understand saving and items. Items to an extent for difficulty purposes. But I don't understand why you can't, like, change your equipment. That seems kind of backwards to me. Oh, that one's flashing red. Actually, wait. I just noticed that I figured that the health bar at the bottom would be the bats. But it's uh, not going down when we hit the bats, so. And the bats aren't our target? I'm not for sure anymore. Okay, one, one down. This one's starting to blink, too. Man, this, man, this won't be so bad. I mean, we've lost like half our health, but who needs health? We got, we got, we got, we we got skill, baby. As I run face first into a goddamn bat. Okay, now there's three of them. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, I did nothing. Sorry, I just realized that they're basically shooting snowballs at us, and that's kind of funny to me. Also, is us running into them not doing any damage because of the battle armor? Huh. Well, we changed some things up. Falcon Idol. There's that. Um... It's at least safe so we don't have to be creeping the same... Stupid thing. Yep. Living hell. Gotta make a make us pay. Something something. Oh now our now our fire's blue. Okay, this this home's a lot better. Tell me I'm sorry though. So that's kind of annoying, but. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's one down already. That's 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 the power of that's the power of Falco, baby. <laughs> You can like get them in like a stun. Okay. Like a stun lock. At least when there's at least one of them. You don't have to worry about uh, the other one shooting at you. This is bad. On the upside, two of them are blinking. So that's good. Or oh, I think all three. Nope, still two. Man, I was almost there. Okay. That went so much better. Okay, I feel like... Well, I don't even know. That was like phase, what, two? That was the second round of bats. So, I don't know what happens after that. Oh, we already have one flashing. That's great. That's great. Shit. Okay, that was like full out bullet hell. Oh my god, that, that could have been perfect. Just got him in that stun right there in the corner. That sucks. Okay. You know, I thought that was a better attempt until it wasn't. Because we didn't make... Because at least last time we killed one of the three bats, and that time we didn't. Yeah, we only killed... Didn't kill any of the second round. The thing with the bats is just, like, it's easy to get overwhelmed. Especially in the second phase. Just so much craps on this on this stupid screen. Kind of just zone out. At least I do, and just start pressing B until you win, <laughs> or hope at least, or hope you win. Honestly, this boss kind of reminds me of, uh, I mean, it, it, it does have the bullet hell aspect, but, uh, it's, uh, the final boss, not the final boss, uh, the boss of, oh, I forget his name, of the tower in, uh, Link's Awakening. So 
Especially in the remake where, you know, it's more clear what the things actually are. Shit. Oh yeah, go hide behind the person I literally cannot hit. You're great. Oh my god, there's four of them. My worst fears have come true. Right, is there a tip for this boss on game facts? <laughs> Level 44. Okay, basically it just says keep doing what you're doing. And uh, I guess one thing I didn't notice is that apparently uh, each phase that you destroy the bats, you actually knock out part of her health. So we're going to have to test that again. Oh yes, they're together! Fuck yes! We're gonna have to... Yeah, a big chunk just went... Just went away. I was really concerned that we can, like, I can barely do three. Like, we're about to die right now. Yep. I can barely handle three of them. Then you, then we have to do four. It's insane. Also, the guide says you should be, that, like, the lowest you can be and easily take this out is 44. We're three levels above that. I don't think damage is uh, uh, us not doing enough damage is really the problem here. I think it's just me. <laughs> like that, that's kind of a kind of fun thing to realize. But it's like and one thing that's actually been catching me off guard is how much damage uh, the them running into you does. Like, it's not really the projectiles that's really the problem in this fight, at least for me. It's been them running straight into me. Like that.
shit. Shit, shit, shit! Oh my god. That was our best attempt yet. Like, we didn't kill any of the fourth wave of bats, but like three of them were blinking. Oh, that sucks. Here we go again. Kinda wanna be more in friends. Take it easy on me, cuz I'm getting attacked by bats. Oh, whoa. -ho. <laughs> By the way, Neon Trees, one of my favorite uh, bands growing up. Big fan of them in middle school and high school. More than middle school, but whatever. Their music still holds up, by the way. Don't add me. Uh, they're releasing a new album, finally. They're finally releasing their fourth album. Like, they've been, like, sporadic, like, since the third album. They've been, like, they released, like, random, like, singles and stuff. But yeah, they're finally making album number four. It's coming out next year, and I'm so excited for it. Oh, I guess uh, the first uh, first single off it. Uh, I don't think they've announced the name. I don't think. But uh, like the name of the album, I mean. But uh, uh the lead single uh, used to be uh, so good. I love it. Like, uh, some of their, like, I wasn't a huge fan of their third album, nor was, like, anyone else that I saw. I haven't re-listened to it since it first came out, so, I don't know, maybe it's better than I'm giving it credit. But most of the songs I just didn't really like. Honestly, it kind of, like, really reminds me of Pray for the Wicked, which is the most recent Panic! at the Disco album, which tries to go for a lot of pop. And like more like mainstream songs but most of them kind of sound bad and are kind of like soulless uh that, that's neon trees's third album and ironically uh, <laughs> it's the only album that they've released where they didn't have a hit song off it so that worked out also they did way they did way before they get the disco because birth of the wicked came out last year and uh uh pop Physiology, I think is what it's called. Pop, something like that. Uh, came out like 2013. They've just been kind of there. Like, they never like officially broke up, I don't think. They just kind of just never like did anything. Kind of like me with this boss fight, not really doing anything. Kind of just there. You know? Man, just imagined if I just figured out where the freaking can canal was, like, an hour earlier. We would have been, like, past this boss already. Like, maybe onto the final boss, or close enough. You know? Onto Dallas. I've completely forgot about Dallas. Poor guy. Didn't want to be forget. What the fuck? I'm about to die on phase one. That's about to happen. And I know I died on phase one before, but that was without the Falcon Idol. And I was kind of like just scouting it out. So I'm not really counting that attempt as a real attempt. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna try to focus on this time. I'm gonna drink some soda. Get myself awake.
Are you kidding me? Oh my freaking god! I really want to be tonight. Like, I really want to, but I don't know if it's going to happen. Which is really dumb, because, like, <laughs> probably, like, the final boss is, like, right after this person. And it's just going to be like, oh, well, guess, <laughs> guess the next stream's going to be 10 minutes long. So the final boss is going to be totally easy. I'm sure of it. You know, the lock-on's so bad. Like, really. Like, it's so strangely bad. Like, what, what was it even homing on to there? Yeah, that was that was honestly kind of neat. I just did that. Now we're gonna die, but you know, <sighs> like the whole, it's not even holding on to anything half the goddamn time. Like it's either like super accurate, like right there. Like I don't know if you just saw that. I just like just hit it from one side of the room. It went all the way around. And other times, it's like oh, you're right next to it, but it's gonna. Soaker all around the thing till it finally decides to work.
So that's one. Okay, on to phase three. Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Why can you go back for the stupid door? I don't get that. Because it doesn't do anything for you. Like, it's pointless. It's legit pointless. And I don't see why you need... The game needs to keep that door open. That was seriously our best attempt in, like, an hour. And I... And then I ran out the door. I ran out the stupid door. Just it, like I want to love it, love this game so much, but like these ending sections of these games are just insane. Like, and not to even like a fair degree, it feels like, or even to like a well designed degree. Oh, there's different dialogue this time. Oh, well, I don't care. Equip the thing. That's why this exists. Not. You know, like the worst part is it's not like I know that we're like nearing the end of the fight. Like that we're right at the end. Because we're not. 
because because I looked it up in the stupid guide. I read it. There's a, another freaking phase after the four bats. Honestly, like, I think this boss is like probably my least favorite boss. In, like, all of them. And when I mean all of them, I mean yeah, he's one too. But because like the worst boss in he's one was the the devil guy who kept you know transforming into bats, and then all the worst bosses in these games have to do with bats. <laughs> these are like bat-like creatures. Then there was the guy in he's one that turned into bats. He was the worst boss. And I think the final boss took longer for us, but the final boss seems strangely fair in its badness. Just come out of nowhere. They just hit you and they kill you. Somebody call 911. They come out of nowhere, then they kill you. Whoa. Okay. Final fix. Time to die. Yeah. Awesome. I'm done. Like I'm. <sighs> I'll work on it later and. We'll finish it next time. Because we're going for nearly three hours and we're not even close to done. So screw it. We're done. Bad new, bad mood, Gunner.
Bad mood gunner. Goodbye.